Oh, hi. How are you doing today, friend? This is Miss Sarah from Woodrow Wilson Library. Now, I know you all are probably really tired of being home, but I'm glad you're still getting to do your schoolwork from home. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about making masks, like this one. You've probably worn one or seen people wearing them outside. Right now, it's really important to do that so we don't get anybody else sick. Even if you don't think you're sick, you could still have the germs. An important way to keep them to yourself is with a mask. So Miss Sarah's making them for people who don't know how to sew because I have a sewing machine. What you start off with first is a pattern. It's just a rectangle, eight by 14 inches. So after we cut out our rectangle of fabric, we then fold it in half like this and sew down the top side. This gives us a two like this one that I can see you through. Hi. So then once we've done that, we turn it inside out. So that way the raw seam is inside and a nice smooth seam is on the outside. After you do that, you have to pin it in pleats. Pleats are those little bins like these. Let me show you. You take the fabric, you pinch an inch, and you take one of these pins and pin it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Then we repeat the same thing on the other side, making a straight line across. Now let's repeat it two more times. It's also very important to make sure all of your pleats or your folds are going the same way. So see how both of these are folded that direction? We don't want to then make the other one fold this way. And now you're done. You have your three pleats. So first you put the material under the presser foot. That's this piece here. It kind of looks like a foot and it presses the fabric down, hence the name presser foot. Before I do anything else, I'm holding the pins side down and taking the pins out before I start going. You do not want your sewing machine needle to get caught on a pin. You could break your sewing machine needle, a little piece of metal could come flying out. It's very scary and not very good. All right, here we go. Start your engines. Now I'm going nice and slow so I don't get any tangles or knots. Sometimes sewing is like the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. That's a good book. We should read that. Once you're done at the end, you do the back stitch, which is where you stitch over with the needle and thread where you had already gone. So that way, it ties it down nice and tight and the threads don't come loose. Pull it out and cut it on the little device on the side of my sewing machine. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Again, put your mask under the presser foot and put the presser foot down. While holding down your pleats, take out the pins. Then again, we're at the end. We back stitch again and forward stitch and we're done with the middle piece. All right. Now, the next part is making the straps, like these that I use to tie it on the back of my head. We do that by cutting a couple of two inch strips of fabric. I have some fun fabric over here to use. Now this fabric can do a magic trick. Are you ready? I have a ruler right here on my sewing machine. I hold it up to there, find where my two inch mark is, and then I make the first little cut. See how tiny that is? Are you ready for the magic trick? Here we go. I get to rip it and it cuts 
a perfect strip that lines up with my first cut. Wasn't that fun? All right, now how to turn this into one of these. You take the strip, fold it, one side to the middle. Put it under the presser foot, and here we go. All right, now your strip is half done. Take the other side and fold it to meet the middle again. Put it under the presser foot, press down, and go. Now what I'm doing now is called back stitching. It's where you go back over the stitching that you just did so that way it's really light, locked down and tight. It's like tying a bunch of knots in it. And there you go. You've made a mask strip. Let's make the second strip. Magic trick. Now let's repeat it again. Fold to the middle. Now flip over and repeat. All right, now your strip is half done. Take the other side and fold it to meet the middle again. All right, so now you're gonna take your strip Fold it in half and find your center point. Take your mask, fold it in half. Once you have your two curves lined up, you can pin it down if you need. I don't pin it down because I immediately put it under the sewing machine. Alrighty, so then we do the same thing with the other side. Fold it in half to find its center point. Fold your mask in half to find its center point and line the two up. And go. And voila. You now have a face mask. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And remember, wash your hands. Bye.